Hi, my name is Ram, and in this episode we'll finally finish create part from CRUD. We'll implement server validation, render server error on client, and save record in database if everything's ok. Before we begin, just a quick note, if you want me to get back to you sooner than later, post your comments and questions in comment section on associated blog post. So now let's get back to implementing actual server endpoint. And with server we need to handle two scenarios as well validation and successful record creation. So back to server.js file and let's add new endpoint post API games and as usual callback function takes request and response objects. We need to validate data. You must always validate data on server. Do not ever trust client-side application to give you good and proper data. So let's define validate function. It takes data argument and let's go to form component and just copy validation code from there and also let's comment it out and change is valid to true. This way we disabled client-side validation so we can test server-side one. So let's go back to server file and paste this code here. Now we need to change this dot state to data. And then we return object with errors and is valid fields in it. Now in the route we can call validate function and pass request.body to it. But before we do it, let's console log request body to see what's in there. So back in the browser we submit form and now in terminal we see that there is nothing there, it's undefined. To make it work we need to install and set up express middleware called body parser. So let's kill server here and run npm install dash dash save body parser I use version 1.15.2. After that, let's run npm start again. So now back to server file, let's import it and use it. We import body parser from body parser and then below app initialization, we use body parser.json function. So back to the browser, we submit form back to terminal and here we have our data. Nice. So let's remove our console log statement and now let's call validate and pass request body to it. And we deconstruct returned object into two variables, errors and is valid. So next we check if it's valid and if it's not, we respond with status 400 and JSON object that contains these errors. And that's it, let's go to the browser and try it out. Submitting, awesome, we got errors from server. It works because all of the work we did in previous episode. So now that it works, let's roll back our client-side validation. So back to our form code, we uncomment all these lines and change true back to is valid. And the last thing is to save data in the database, so let's do it. We back to server.js file. So we get db collection games and insert object with title and cover. So for that, let's get them from request with const title and cover equals to request body. Now to mongodb callback function that takes error and result of insertion. In case of database error, we respond with 500 status and useful global error message, something went wrong. In case of success, we respond with JSON object with game info that we can get from result.ops and take first element out of it. And now we need to redirect back to games list when everything's ok. So for that, we'll use redirect component from React router. In this new router approach, we just need to render this component and it will redirect. Pretty cool. So going back to our form component, let's populate the first function in our then handler. Here we'll just set another variable on state, let's call it done. So we set state done to true. And we need to add it to state with default value of false. Now let's import redirect component from React router. Next let's move this whole form into variable that we call form. So const form equals to this whole thing. And then in render we check if we are done. So if state done is true, we redirect to games. We just use redirect component, specify two props and point it to games route. Otherwise we render form. So let's try it out in the browser. Fill form with data, submit and voila, we redirect it to games page. Let's go to terminal and check it out. We run Mongo, we use CRUD with Redux database, 
and we find all games with db.games.find and specify empty object. And here we go, our newly created game in there. And that's it for today. If you found this episode useful, please support my work by liking it, subscribing to this channel and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or preferably on my blog and follow me on Twitter to get updates. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.